How's it going everybody? It's oh boy they need this and this video we're going to be showing you how to do the in your face rap vocal effect and uh, really the secret behind it and how I go about getting that sound. Artist is Lasco and I'm going to play you just a little snippet of it and then we're going to dive in to the effects. I pulled up on Shadi like nice to meet you, you're slaying for breaking up conversations. I saw you looking, I'm thinking if we exchange information. I'm 19 and I'm patient, I'm black man educated. I was thinking about linking and making full reservations. This could lead to some amazing spontaneous vacation. <clears throat> okay, so that's a little snippet of the song. I'll leave his social medias in the description. Go check him out. Um, so that's with all the effects on. I'm going to turn everything off and then kind of just break down what I did and then um, how to get that in your face rap vocal so here's a raw vocal I pulled up on Shadi like nice to meet you you're slaying conversations I saw you looking I'm thinking if we exchange information I'm seeing I'm patient I'm black man so kind of dull vocals not really sitting right in the mix um, both of these are lead vocals, they're just punch-ins, so everything is going to be the same from these two tracks, because they're both lead vocals. So, uh, first off, I just give it a little bit of a high-pass filter. Okay, so these settings, oops, what the, what the hell did I do? Alright, so first is a high-pass filter. Um, you just drag out, you just click this, that's the high-pass, and then you listen to the song, and then you drag this out to wherever you think feels right I had it at about 96 I think so then I just copy it to this track because it's the same and then I'm giving it a little bit of compression before we're hitting the bus um, I'm using just the stock compressor with logic I use the studio FET version because that's emulating a CLA 76 compressor or just 1176 style uh, as for ratio I choose four to one um, attack is on the slower side, release is on the quicker side to give you that in your face vocal sound. That's how you do it, is with quick release, slow attack. Um, and then you just adjust the threshold, which is right here, to give you about, eh, I have it about negative five dBs, it just give or take, depends which, what sound you're going for. So let me just copy that over. For breaking up conversations, I saw you looking. I'm thinking if we exchange information, I'm 19 and I'm patient. Okay, so I'm knocking off about 5 dBs. And then uh, how I have everything routed is these bo both these lead vocals are being outputted to bus number one. So you can highlight them, select bus number one. That's what I have. And then I have it named down here as lead vocals. So this is where they are being sent to, or outputted to. And I'm adding all this processing here. But before that happens is they're being parallel compressed. Something I haven't really touched on at all. But parallel compression is basically making a duplicate copy of your vocal track. And you're compressing the hell out of it, distorting it, doing all kinds of crazy shit to it. And then you blend that crazy distorted compressed signal in with your original signal and it gives you that really edgy in your face vocal sound and I love using it on rap vocals. So to set that up is you take your lead vocals and you send them to any bus and you send it at full signal so it says zero right there. And then this is the bus that they're being sent to right here, bus number three, as you can see from right there, bus number three. And I'm adding all of these effects on here. So I'm gonna start by just breaking down all the effects that I have on. And this slider will be up to zero from the start. So first I add on is Decapitator, give it a little bit of distortion, and I turn the tone up just to bright. You can really use any distortion plugin you want, it doesn't matter. And then I'm giving it some EQ by giving it some low end at 100 hertz, and then some top end at 12K, just boosting it there. And then I'm giving it some, I think this is a transient designer from Slate Digital. It's called FG Bomber. You don't really need to use this. This is just something I have. If you do have it, I just have the setting on full intensity and I have it set to, there's three settings, pre present, fat, or tight. 
and you can mess around with those if you have the plugin. If not, don't worry about it. You don't need it. And third is a compressor. I'm using the CLA 76. Again, quick release, fast attack. But this time I have my ratio set to all instead of a lower ratio. So all is a very, very high ratio. And then lastly is I'm throwing on a limiter. And when you have all these plugins on and this slider is all the way up, it's going to sound a little crazy. It's going to sound really distorted and really messed up and mangled. And that's why we blend the signal in with the original to give you a nice, clean, in-your-face vocal sound. So I will play it with full volume, and then we're going to blend it from there. I put up on shoddy like nice to meet you, you're slaying for breaking up conversations. I saw you looking, I'm thinking if we exchange information, I'm 19 and I'm patient, a black man educated. I was thinking about. So that's about where I had it, and that's because I have some other processing going on as well to turn it down. But as you could tell, when I had it at full volume, it was sounded really mangled and messed up. And then you blend that signal back in. And then, so this is being outputted to bus number one as well. So these are meeting at bus number one. Your lead vocals are being outputted to bus one and your parallel compressed bus is also being outputted to bus number one. So they're being sent here for additional processing. And this is the EQ I used, gave it some more top end and then a little bit of bite at 3K just to make it cut through the speakers a little more. And then DSing it a little bit with wideband at around 6K you can see how much I'm knocking off for the DSer. You don't want to take out too much on the DSer. I pulled up on Shadi like nice to meet you. You're slaying for breaking up conversations. I saw you looking. I'm thick. And then I'm adding a R compressor. This kind of smoothens it out a little bit more because it's kind of hectic right now. I pulled up on Shadi like nice to meet you. You're slaying for breaking up conversations. I saw you looking. I'm thinking if we exchange information, I'm 19 and I'm patient. I'm black man educated. I was thinking about linking and making. And with this compressor, you can really kind of gauge your overall level sound and make it louder or quieter to your preference. And then I'm limiting it, L1 limiter. Um, just knock it off a little bit, not too much. I put up on shoddy like nice to meet you, you're slaying for breaking up conversations. I saw you looking, I'm thinking if we exchange information, I'm 19 and I'm patient, a black man educated. I was thinking about linking. I don't know why I had this bus on, that was weird. And then I'm just sending it to a space designer reverb. I think I just had a preset jazz vocal room, nothing too crazy. And then I'm EQing that reverb just knocking off low end because you don't want low end on your reverb so that's why i eq that out and making full reservations this could lead to some amazing spontaneous vacations lovely sunbathing in hotel reservations i ain't boosting the plan i know my game hall of fame and i put up on shoddy like night and then you can uh you can adjust the reverb level to your liking and then i'm finally i putting this vocal bus to an all vocal bus which is bus number two and the reason i have it routed like this is just for organization so i know what's happening to everything and if i have more vocals in the session they will all eventually end up at all vocals and it just keeps everything more organized and i'm just giving it a little more top end and a little more bottom end Nice to meet you, you're slaying for breaking up conversations. I saw you looking, I'm thinking if we exchange information, I'm 19 and I'm patient, a black man educated. I was thinking about linking and making full reservations. This could lead to some amazing spontaneous vacations. So just a little recap on what's going on. Lead vocals are being EQ'd a little bit, compressed, and then they're being sent to bus number three for the parallel compression. And that's happening over here on bus number three. Distorting it a little bit, EQing it, compressing it, and then limiting it. And then what we do is we have these lead vocals and the parallel compressed vocal bus meeting at our lead vocal bus. A lot going on, but try to follow along if you can. Um, and then they're being processed here, sent off to reverb, and then eventually ending up at all vocals. And as far as the parallel compression, remember you definitely want to blend that signal in with your original signal. You don't want it to be too crazy. You want to start the fader off at zero and then 
gradually work your way up until you get to a point where you think it sounds good and yeah that's just a recap of how to parallel compress and get those in your face vocals let me know if you have any questions in the comments uh, follow all my social media i will have that in the video and thank you guys for watching